Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan 343 here. I had one heck of a night last night DJing and didn't get home till 4.30, but we have a very, very awesome new DJ product here to review in this box. This video has been made possible by 343 Studios. Crack it open, my knife's out in the truck, and we don't feel like going to get it. So, right on top, we have instructions, but he's not going to show it to you right now. This is in some styrofoam. Of course, you probably are seeing it now. Yes, we have a moving head, 230 watt halogen moving head, and this bad boy's head. Guys, you probably can't see it very well. But uh, a little piece of styrofoam on there. This is no, it's actually broken. Only cap broke. <laughs> That's not cool. But I think I can fix it. I can glue it. It's no bad, no biggie. It is screwed, but this is broken. I think I've seen the video where somebody said this was broken in theirs too. But we can. Uh, it's cracked a little bit. Um, the other side's good. I don't know why that side always. That's that's huge. That is absolutely huge. It has a locking device, so you can lock it. We will get this uh, fixed up. And screwed in. Just got a couple screws there. Probably get some glue, <clears throat> some super glue, glue it. Might just be able to see if they can send me a new, new end to screw onto it. It's got power con on and off. Uh, it is touch screen, all that good stuff. So this is Wednesday now, and we got the second unit in. As you can see, the box is very, very tore up. Uh, Looks like it got ripped here. Let's hopefully the unit is not broke as the first one was. Um, I did get a hold of the company. They are going to ship replacement covers. Uh, they're going to ship me some extra ones every week. Uh, styrofoam is kind of loose. Again, that comes in it. But I am going to cut this down the side. Let's unveil this massive moving head light to All right. That side seems to be intact. Uh, power con cable. This styrofoam here is a little broke. Let's uh, put it up. Get the light over on this side. Let me pull this off. Yay! This one is not broken. It does not look like. Thanks. Let's get this all out. Um, it looks like we just got the one that has broken parts on it. This is the second one. Let's go ahead and move it up in here. Oh, yeah. More junk DMX cable. The bracket. Guess what? Throw the styrofoam away. All right, let's go ahead and pull this uh, out. Nothing broke. Everything is good to go. Uh, it locks. Let me make sure all the locking mechanisms work. 
It does lock. We'll have to get it fired up, make sure it works. Uh, get the other one in here, DMX then together, um, just so it sees. Um, if I get this figured out, PowerCon is in. I am going to be ordering longer PowerCons um, and just using these for spares. Or I could use extension cables. I haven't said if I want to get longer power cables. I do have a lot of extra extension cables. But these are going to be setting up on totems. There is a little bit of roughness where it was scuffed a little bit on the side of the unit. But other than that, the unit appears to be uh, not broken. Uh, we got Lily come and check it out. <laughs> Uh, I think she's going to check out the box. Uh, it does lock. All the moving head parts work. This thing is awesome. This is going to be great for weddings. Now, to run this, uh, because I'm going to run this through a program, instead of just Master Slave and Sound Active, because Sound Active goes nuts on these things, which you will see uh, in the next video. Uh, this is just kind of the first look and unboxing. Uh, the build quality of these are really, really good. Uh, I mean, you got metal, uh, this ring around here is a hard, hard rubber. Uh, there's metal rings here. Uh, and there is a locking um, E-clip, it looks to be right here, that holds the lens in. Uh, I've, I've had this apart, if you guys want to see. Uh, there's going to be several videos on this. I'm going to do several videos on these. They have kind of, uh, you know gave me the go ahead with doing whatever. We also are gonna be talking about how to store these properly. We have something coming to uh, store those and that will be in the upcoming videos. So uh, we're gonna go through on how to set these up in Master Slave. We're gonna go through the different uh, gobos. Uh, these, are, these are awesome. Um, we're gonna go about how to mount them if you want to mount them. Uh, these are heavy enough, you need safety cables. So make sure you're using safety cables with these. You can find them online. I will link in the description below a good set of safety cables. You guys can go if you're hanging these from a truss because they weigh about 70 pounds-ish. Uh, the shipping deal says 46 pounds, but they actually uh, took one of these, took the other one over to my friends and said that uh, it weighed like 72 pounds or something like that, so. damaged in shipping and uh, yeah so we'll be showing you if you have damaged products they will ship them I was told they are on back order uh, and would have to be a few weeks before I see them so um, yes we'll be getting new covers for these uh, for the broken one I just use some silicone because silicone is real easy to uh, dig out I'll basically just kind of drill it out and pull the deal off, unscrew the old screws, put the new one on, and screw the new one on with the original screws that are still intact. Um, I will be setting these up in Master Slave, testing them out, doing some runs with them. Uh, if you guys want to see these bad boys in action and uh, want to see some other cool stuff, there'll be several videos on these. And uh, I'm really, really excited to show you guys all the fun stuff these things do. So, uh, yeah. 
But uh, anyway, that's going to be the first look for the Beam 230. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, and get your notification bells turned on because if you want to see what else uh, we end up doing with these, you're going to want to stay tuned because I have got some awesome stuff coming for these. We appreciate all your guys' comments. Comment below if you have any comments. Uh, go check these guys out. They're a very good company uh, to work with. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. God bless. This has been a Thin Red Line production.